What happens to us when we observe violence? In the 60s, people believed that watching violence allowed us to enjoy a cathartic experience where we'd be cleansed of all negative emotion. All of this bad emotion would just wash away in an awesome wave. But of course, with Albert Bandura's experiment, that all changed. In 1961, Bandura and his colleagues wanted to find out if children would imitate the aggression of adults. In his experiment, 72 children between ages 3 and 6 were divided equally into three groups. If the child were allocated to the non-aggressive group, it would have been shown into the lab and it would have watched some guy put toys together for 10 minutes. The group we will be looking at is the aggressive group, where the kids saw the adult behaving aggressively towards the bobo doll. If the child were in the aggressive group, it would have watched this. You can see that she uses a toy hammer to hit the doll, throws it about, kicks it around, punches it repeatedly, and just basically murders the thing. Then, each child was brought into another room with all sorts of toys, but the moment the child started playing with any of them, it was told to stop, as they are reserved for the other kids. This was done to frustrate them. After that, the child was taken to another room with toys and a bobo doll, and they observed this child for 20 minutes through a one-way mirror. So this is one of the children that had seen the aggressive adult hitting the bobo doll. It is more likely to reach for aggressive toys and use them against the doll. You can see that he's imitating the actions of the aggressive adult. Look at how aggression shows up on his face with every strike, and he's ramping himself up that way. But he's not only imitating the aggressive adult, he is also coming up with creative new ways to show his aggression, just by using a gun for example. He even tries to inflict pain onto the doll by prodding it with the toy gun. So you might be thinking, okay, but boys play with toy weapons all the time, and in general like violence, and play fight with each other even. Surely girls perform differently in the experiment. So what did the experiment show us? The children from the aggressive group were most aggressive, both verbally and physically. The boys were more aggressive physically, but the girls were more aggressive verbally. Interestingly, the girls were more physically aggressive only if they had watched a male adult hit the bobo doll, but more verbally aggressive when they had watched the women do so. This shows the gender differences in aggression. Boys are more direct and physical in their aggression, whereas girls are indirect and verbal. Boys usually fight between each other to solve an issue, while girls rely on psychological manipulation and spreading gossip. The experiment shows how young children can learn aggression just by watching violence, and was the basis of what later became known as the social learning theory. This theory suggests that we learn via observational learning, that is, we can learn behaviours, attitudes, norms and emotional responses just by observing others. Social learning theory has been the basis of many assumptions regarding media violence, especially television and video games.